Hi, good morning and welcome again to another edition of Market Analysis for today, June 7th, 2023. I'm Giovanni Berencourt, analyst, trader, educator with Vantage Markets. Alrighty then, well, it is hump day, middle of the week, Wednesday, and we have a lot of things going on, obviously, always in the markets. So we start with the NASDAQ, the AI rally seems to not give out and Essentially, we may just have a positive opening to the upside. 14,800 is my resistance. 14,250 is my support. The RSI is, has, has been in overbought territory all of the month for the entire week. So that this particular way of the of the market creating this dojis in the in the, uh, in the in the chart just basically indicates a tug of war between the bulls and the bears, a, I call it consolidation stage, I call it you know, lateral movement ranging, but imminently we will have a breakout, so this is just basically a setup for a possible breakout. Uh, will we have a breakout to the upside? Will we have a breakout to the downside? We have some information about obviously the uh, SEC filing losses against Coinbase and Binance. So those things obviously don't really help the stock, but the market has really been in a positive territory. So we could we could spend expect a nice bump to the upside perhaps, but a correction is is, is due. Uh, or a correction a pullback is due. So a lot of profit taking. Let's see if today will be that day or tomorrow or next week or when but for now, as, as when we open, we'll most likely open to the upside. And then as for the S&P, same token, same same scenario. Uh, we could see a bit of a, of a, a, a ascending triangle. So the uh, notion for the moment the market will continue to rally. Uh, the S&P the has been is, you know, this high since August 2020. So we could probably find some profit takers perhaps that before the RSI has to come into the overbought territory so 30 to 20 could be that that angle but to the upside in the S&P then we have the Dow Dow is also looking to recuperate or come back to the high let's see if it'll come back to the high that was done on the 5th so to on the upside for the Dow and then we have crude oil that yesterday hit a low of 70 and but it rebound really nice and open with a small gap up it has been close so the momentum to the upside 74 dollars is my resistance as well as for net gas 233 is my resistance so i'm bullish on both gold however is is, is idling waiting for some more turbulence so if we can go flock into it but for right now, um, I'm looking at gold just to also do some sort of a consolidation stage and say around the 1960 handle. Then we have silver that also has just been really quiet. At any given moment, this could pop you know, to the upside to the downside, but most likely to the upside. Then we have copper that is, is making nice recovery. So 385 will be my resistance. Then we have the currency Bitcoin that is kind of taking fluctuating to the downside. It's, it's looking to stay around the 27, 26.5, north of 26.5. But with this news about Binance and Coinbase getting having lawsuits, and soon we'll learn the outcome of these companies. But anyhow, Bitcoin is the one that will be safe out of all of those other tokens. So for now, I'm just staying out of Bitcoin. Then we have the currencies. The euro, the euro is looking to stay north of 107. It, it has, it is it basically ranging as within yesterday's you know, fluctuation. So it could be another day like the yesterday. Let's see. Then the pound is the one that is recuperating somewhat because the dollar index is lowering. So we need to see the dollar index lower to 103.5 so we could see a nice pop up to the upside on crude oil currencies metals. Okay. All right. Have a fantastic trading day. I'll see you tomorrow.